Hello, my friend. This is Clyde. And we have another opportunity to sit down and have a conversation about things that are important to us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for this privilege. I, I really enjoy living my best life. That's what I want us to talk about. Living my best life. Here is a line from the Bible that I want us to explore. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Can you see yourself getting to a place in life, the life that you are now living, where you can genuinely say, I lack nothing? There is nothing that I need. I have everything. Well, here is someone who chose to use an analogy of sheep and shepherd to make a statement, a definitive statement, a statement that cannot be contested. This writer says, the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Come on now, let's look at it. Let's look at it carefully. If he is talking about the Lord being my shepherd, then he is referring to himself as a sheep. You got that right. And so how did this thing come about? In order to understand his mindset, you have to agree from the beginning that we are going to use the analogy of sheep and shepherd. And here is something about the sheep. The Bible says that all of us, like sheep, we had gone astray. We had been lost. Do you know what it is for a sheep to get lost? A sheep would slip away from the flock while grazing, while eating, just slip away. And before long, the sheep finds himself all alone. There are no other sheep. There is no shepherd. What a lonely, terrible place for a sheep to find himself. And the sheep doesn't have the wisdom to find his way back home. And, and, and all kinds of treacherous experiences come his way. Lost, hungry, unsafe, in danger. And, and, and the Bible tells us that Jesus, the Son of God, comes looking for the sheep. Yeah. He comes looking for the sheep and he finds that sheep. That one sheep, he finds that sheep. And he finds the sheep trembling, hungry, bruised, wounded, scared. And he takes up that shield and he puts that shield on his sheep on his shoulder and he takes the sheep back to the fold, back to that place where there are other sheep, back to that place where the sheep is going to experience the opposite. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Having been found by the shepherd, the sheep enters into a new life. I'm no longer lost. I'm found. I will no longer be hungry. The shepherd provides for me. I will no longer be unsafe. The shepherd protects me. I will no longer be alone. I am now part of a flock of sheep. I will no longer have to suffer because the shepherd cares for me. Living my best life. 
I never thought this would happen. I never thought that anything could, could, could be so good. I thought that I was going to die out there all by myself. My friend, what am I talking about? I'm so glad you asked because the truth of the matter is this, that me, you, we are that sheep. And Jesus loves us so much that he came looking for his sheep. And he found us. He found us, my friend. And all that I said about the sheep, Jesus has done it for us. And he brought us home, brought us home to the fold. Today, can we just pause and look at the shepherd and said, thank you for finding me, for rescuing me. Thank you that you've brought me back into the fold. So now I can say definitively, the Lord is my shepherd and there's no one who can contest that i lack nothing my fellow sheep i'm living my best life how about you <laughs>